everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. On today's video, we're treating a sole ulcer on this cow's left front foot. But step one, let's get it trimmed up. As we're trimming this foot, what do you notice about this inner claw, aside from the fact that there's a hole in it? Well, you should be noticing that swollen appearance of that heel bulb. That's an important consideration when we're trimming a foot. So as we zoom in here, you can not only see the ulceration, which is causing the discomfort for this girl, but you're also going to be able to see the enlargement of this claw. And the, the reason that this is important to notice before we start trimming is, let's assume there was no ulceration here, but we had a in an enlarged claw like this, and I were to try to trim that down and try to match the heels to balance her, I would actually be thin soling that claw because it's not the horn that's thicker with this particular claw. It's the entire claw itself, those inner tissues that have swollen and enlarged. So if I were to, if I remove the sole to try to get the, the, the heels level in this case, I would actually be thin soling this cow. And ultimately what that can mean is more trauma to those tissues on the inside, which would then result in more discomfort, and ultimately more compression of that heel bulb area. Now this came up in the last video where I had to remove that heel bulb section, actually was released due to a white line defect. And people were confused because I talked about that in a different video where too over trimming or too much trimming on the heels can cause um, irreparable damage to that heel bulb. And what I meant by that was the structure the, the internal structures of the heel, not necessarily the sole itself. The sole will grow back, but those structures inside that heel bulb will become compressed, and ultimately uh, that will never come back, and that's why over-trimming can be an issue. Here, we've just got an ulcer situation, and what you can see, what you'll notice about this particular foot versus a lot of them, is that this horn is extremely hard. That has to do with the environment these cows live in. In the wintertime in Wisconsin, we have frigid cold temps. When I let this cow go, you're gonna be able to see the, the frozen ground that they have to walk on here. They're in the barn in the winter because we have sub-zero temps and there's no pasture for them to eat. Being in this in the uh, tie stall environment, they have really dry feet because those stalls stay ultra clean. Especially with front feet, there's no moisture there, so those te those feet tend to dry out and they become really hard. That's why it looks like I'm having uh, trouble cutting that horn. It's because I am. It's almost like concrete. It's hard as a rock. You'll notice with a lot of the lesions that I treat that I leave that outside wall higher than the surrounding lesion that I'm working on. And that's for a good reason. If, for instance, that block on that other claw were to pop off, I wanna have some relief for that particular lesion so she's not walking on it. If I were to take that outside wall and trim it all the way down flat to that lesion and that block does come off, not only is she gonna be walking on that this particular lesion, that ulceration, but that heel is gonna have nothing there to help protect it at all. She won't be able to take the weight off of that. Here you can get a good look of what look at what that lesion does look like. I've got the all the horn removed from right around that. That's the key part. That damaged area, that ulceration is what we need to get healed. That's the part that we got to get that horn removed from. Got that done now, so we're just gonna do a little bit trimming around the edges, thin these margins out a little bit. And this foot is going to get a wrap of salicylic acid just to take away any bacteria that might be a problem there. And she'll be ready to go. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. As always, thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.